Hey guys, and in today's video, we're going to be walking through Entreport. So guys, Entreport is a option for creating sales funnels and using email marketing and tracking your customers and your lists. It is definitely a lot better in terms of creating forms and things that look really great and professional. It also contains a lot of information that will definitely assist you as you grow your business. So it is a tad bit more expensive than MailChimp to get started, but it can be like a really good investment. So one thing that you can do is you can store all your contacts over here and you have your search option over there for various people within your contacts and just find them. You can click on them. And you can find their information, you know. You can create a note about them and tags and see campaigns that they're like added or assigned to. You can add them to various campaigns if you wish. You can also create coupons for them. You can create or invite them to memberships. You can do notes and tasks and things to work with your clients so it's basically like a CRM which is really really nice another feature again you can do email campaigns so you'll need to come in and you can like create forms or create messages so this one right here we just recently created but like you can create a form by clicking a, a new form and clicking create a new and they have numerous forms already like pre-made for you so if you need a hand there got your back so you can choose these or make it your own they also have some paid versions which you need to pay for in order to use you can search by industry type or the type of what that is like for example is it a sales page or a contact page or want to somebody to share content so it's pretty much whatever you want they have a template for you and right now we want to have a lead capture so we're going to uh, select this so it's already got some pre-made templates and we're going to customize that in order to fit what services or offers we are offering to our clients so you just click edit you can change the wording you can save here you can change it to like bold to your un to your font style to your liking however you want you are the artist in this you're in control and it's pretty easy and simple and pretty straightforward so you'll, you'll get to pick it up within a few minutes then you would go over here and click publish Okay, and this is one of the things that is not always the easiest to work with. It's kind of like a bit silly the way it wants you to do it. So we're gonna do a testing form. And we will go ahead and publish. And there's a few ways you can use this. So you can have a light box pop up that would just like pop pop over on your site if you, if you want to. And you would preview the code. You know, when somebody is on your site and they scroll to like a certain percentage or after a certain like time frame then that would pop up on where they're about to exit you can have like a pop up pop out and then you will simply take this code and put it on your website you can like also embed the code or you can have it like where they click a button and the pop up pops up so those are like very nice features about it and we're gonna go ahead and it's gonna make us do something so we're gonna go ahead and do that we're just gonna say we're going to embed it so you're gonna copy and then paste that into your website or well you want it to go and that's basically it done so we're gonna go back here and the form is over here now 
I also I forgot to mention is on the form itself you want to like click on it and click on form settings so you can come in here and choose whether like they need to double opt-in or it's just optional to have a double a double opt-in or a single opt-in which basically means you're just going to put in them on your list right away and you can then use a default thank you page which looks like this or you can use your own or create your own that's a landing page so like after they click the button and enter their email then they're going to land to the destination page or the thank you page that you have selected they're also going to be put on a list and let me show you guys how that works so over here on pages we just go to the landing page here and same similar setup you can choose like the templates and just edit it according to your needs or your to your liking so just hit publish and there you set a landing page name so it's kind of like hosted on your site so it's got your branding at least and then you can proceed to close it and here you can also see the visits on your page and how many people have been entering your site and then we can create a campaign to send out so to create a campaign click on create a campaign but I'm going to show you how what happens you'll have this and this in general and then you're going to basically add a step so from here if you want add them manually they will going to get sent and get an email and then the process ends but we can like make the process where they'll get this email then they'll get another email and that was those kind of stuff so over here people come over to this page and then they they, they fill out the form and they're we're going to get sent at this email and let's create just like a brand new one so you can see what happens so come over here and you're going to choose one of these you can like choose that or you can choose start from scratch so if you guys start from scratch this is what it will look like and you can add like a trigger from what happened just like in MailChimp this one is just like a, bit, a little bit easier to follow and understand so it's like more user friendly so if you like add a trigger the contact is created so you enter a contact or somebody and somebody signs up then great they're going to get added next we want to wait for a little bit for a period of time for instance and we're going to choose a specific time frame so maybe like in one day we will proceed to send them an email and then we have to create that email and you can create one here or if you already created one you can link it and then what happens next you can basically add to a different campaign or you can see what they've done you can send them a text message which is like pretty pretty awesome you can also give them access to something that if you're offering like a a web book or something maybe if you want like a, to give them a sample then you can do that all kinds of different things from here or you can choose to end the sequence all together and there's another thing that we need to do so in entreport you can like add people manually to a campaign through your contact page or they fill out a form and they will get added to a campaign so you want to connect these so that you don't have to create two separate e sequences 
it just takes over here if you add them manually so you can like go right there and you can do like an action I believe is what it is okay it's over on filters and it's go to and then we take this and we choose where to send them next so if we automatically add them you might want to just send like directly to send them an email instead of waiting around and you can do that and so they are going to come down this same pathway instead of entering the information they're, go they're going to add them and they will be sent an email right away so those are some really useful and cool things that can make that automation very intuitive and very eff efficient to what your customers are doing and you can see the flow which is very nice to visual learners or for visual people so we're just going to cancel that because it's not really a campaign but those are some things that you can do and also guys you can see reports and then in your dashboard you'll see how many forms were filled out today yesterday this week so you can really get some useful information on your audience and what's going on so that is pretty much all for today guys i hope you guys learned something new don't forget to like subscribe down below and i will see you guys on the next one bye guys